Hi, my name is Ryan and welcome to my video on how to create a WordPress blog. Now in this video I'm presuming you already have a domain name and hosting. So the next step is to get a couple of more things. Uh, the first is to download the files for your blog from the WordPress website by going to wordpress.org and clicking on the download tab. This will take you to a page where you can download WordPress 2.7 which is the latest WordPress platform. Download this to your computer and uh, this will be in a zipped file. Um, so you can unzip that into a folder and that will pop all the files that you'll need um, for your blog onto your computer. Now the next thing you need to do is get these on to the internet so you need to have a, a FTP program um, to upload those files. I use FileZilla. You can get that for free by typing FileZilla into Google. F-I-L-E-Z-I-L-L-A. It's the first result that comes up in Google. And you want to download FileZilla Client. Um, on that page it will be the first one under Windows. FileZilla 3.1.6 Win32 Setup. So once you have FileZilla and all your WordPress files, you'll have to log into your hosting account and create a database to hold your new blog. Um, so logging into your database and your cPanel uh, in your hosting control center, you want to uh, create a new database. Now it may look different depending on what web coasting company you are with, um, but essentially it'll ask you for to create a database description, a database username, and then enter a password f uh, for this database. So in my example here, the description is my blog. I've used my name, Ryan, as the username, and then have entered the password um, and kept that wrote that down uh, for my records and clicked OK to create this database. Now from there you want to go back to the WordPress files on your computer and look for WP config sample. Now first we want to rename that. We want to remove sample from the end of that so that the file reads just WP hyphen config. Once you've renamed that file, you can double click on it um, or right click and open with Notepad. It should usually open with Notepad anyway. And you can change these, uh, the database name, where it says put your database name here, your username here, and your password in here. You want to copy and paste from where you set up your database in your control panel. Uh, the exact same database name and password that you used uh, to create the database. You want to copy and paste it in between the, um, the, the commas where it says insert your username and your database name and then type in your password over the top of your password here and then save that and then you'll be ready to upload that to your hosting account. Oh, and when you create your database, it'll also give you a local host name that you can copy and paste underneath your password here. So we'll head over to FileZilla, where you'll log into your hosting account, and then locate the directory where you saved your WordPress files, and select all of the uh, files in that directory and either drag them across over to a directory that you create on your hosting account um, and that'll copy them there. It can take up to about 20 minutes to copy and then once all those files have finished uploading onto your server go to uh, Internet Explorer and type in the source where you pasted it where you copied it to slash wp hyphen admin slash install dot php and hit enter 
and that will install your blog and create your um, database for you and then you'll come up with a, an admin screen where you'll be able to log in using um, the username admin and the password that it generates for you. You'll be able to change that p password to something more personal later on if you like. And that's it. That's your WordPress blog installed. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more instructional videos soon to come.